What's up, family? It's your big sis, T. Renee, and I'm back today with another story. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, I'm hoping that one day you find something on this platform that resonates with you and make you want to come back and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for tuning in with me each time that I post. And I hope you always enjoy my video, and I hope you enjoy today's video as well, y'all. I know y'all are here for a story time, and that's exactly what I'm going to give y'all. But y'all know what to do before we get to that. Go ahead, drop down below in the comment section. Leave a hey girl, hey, what's up big sis? All comments are always welcome and greatly appreciated. Just keep it respect for y'all. I don't want to have to go in here and filter y'all out. Anyway, y'all, let's get to this story time. So today is basically, I guess you can say it's like part two of a story I gave y'all last week. And the title, I'm going to try to make sure I put the thumbnail up here because I say that y'all and I always forget it. But basically, this is what the title was. I'm going to give y'all part two. So, yeah. Like I mentioned, y'all, my girl JB, who's the main character in here, who became the stripper overnight. <laughs> sensation overnight. She became the stripper sensation overnight. Um, basically, I'm just going to give y'all a little background, you know. She didn't tell her baby daddy, which I never gave him a name. We're going to probably call him Rock. We're going to call her baby daddy Rock. She never really told him that she started stripping or whatever. He when she found out. He popped in on her one night at the club. They kicked him out because he was being too rowdy. When she got off, we all went out there in the parking lot with her and her home with me, her, her home girl, a couple of my home girls. They all got the fighting. Her folks got the yeah, they all got the dumping with the girls, the guys, everybody. A couple um JB homeboys, they was at the club and all this, so yeah, it was just a big brawl, basically, y'all. And they was harassing her to the point where she moved out the city. He eventually found out where she was staying. And so basically, y'all, she still was stripping at the time, whatever, because she saw how much money her girls was making. And then, like I said, she started making a whole lot of money. And when she would go to this city, like during the times where she wasn't dancing in our city, she would make lots of money. So this is what motivated her and prompted her to go ahead and move to, y'all know, places of all places with, with some of the best strippers at <laughs> in the game, Atlanta. She moved to Atlanta, but she didn't stay directly in like Atlanta, like I'm gonna say, she moved to Georgia. So yeah, let me, let me let me go back. She moved to Georgia, but she didn't stay directly in Atlanta. Just the the popping spots was in Atlanta, so you know that's the hot spot area. So that's where the hot spots are. So yeah, she moved a little bit outside of Georgia. I mean, outside of Atlanta, in a really nice neighborhood, honestly. So yeah, she was stacking money like that that she got her a really nice house out there. Like she was still renting it at the time, but I'm sure over time she bought her one. Um, yeah, because I do I do remember her talking about her buying a house. She posted it online some years on down the line. One particular weekend, me and my homegirls was going to Atlanta because y'all know Atlanta was real popping. <laughs> it's still popping to some, but I don't really care to go, honestly. Maybe if they got some stuff going on that I really want to go to, I probably will go again, but I haven't been in years. We there this weekend, whatever. Of course, me and my girls were supposed to be linking up with her. We all linked up for, like, brunch or whatever. And, of course, she was going to be working at night. This is, like, a big event going on at night. Like, some of the real big names was coming to their club this night. I'm not going to say, say what strip club she was at, of course not. Um, but, yes, it was supposed to be this big event or whatever. Um, yeah, because we was going to have to pay a lot of money to try to get up there. Like, yeah, I don't know. They had like a cover this night. And it was kind of pricey, but we didn't end up not paying it. Like, some of her homeboys, they was coming up there too. Because, I mean, yeah, somehow we didn't have to pay to get up in there. Like, we got up in there in the VIP section. We had drinks and all that shit. Y'all know when you with the right people, you with the right people. So, yes, it was going to be like that going on. So, like I said, we do the brunch or whatever. Fast forward, it's getting close to us meeting her at the club. And I think this particular weekend, one of the, her homegirls that danced in Memphis came up there. And she was going to be like, I, I, can't, I don't know what they call it, but like she was just going to be like a guest appearance or something like that. She wasn't real big or nothing like that, but they had like different women from different cities coming in and they announced with them as such and so I guess it's like 
something new, something different. So people might want it. I don't know. I mean, I've known women do that all the time. Go somewhere and be like a special guest or something to dance. So I guess it's a different flavor for the night. We get there. We in there turning the hell up per, per usual. Because at this time, I used to party like that. So yes, I'm sure I'm um, shit. At this time, I was even drinking clear liquor. Yeah, I don't even, I don't think it necessarily like just some cheap vodka. Of course not. I was with some guys that had money for real because that's the type of people that she hung around. So, and that's and that's another thing. I feel like she was pressured to be this house bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because these were the people she was around. Like these were her best friends, girls she grew up with or whatever, guys that she grew up with, and they had that together. And I think she felt like she needed to have her together. So she made this big decision. And then she was the friend that had the kids young. I think she felt like she, I don't know. She often would say certain things like, yes, I kind of messed up myself. And um, I had kids too early. I, I love my children. They were blessed, but I had them too early. But like I said, also I mentioned that she was supposedly pregnant while she was away too. While she, she was supposedly pregnant during this time too. But of course... She wasn't showing um, like that or whatever. Then her, she, she, and then, I don't know, even if she had a little pudge, I don't even think it would have made a difference because it fit her, it fit her body type. Like, she was a real hippie, big thigh woman with a big ass booty. But she was, you know, small from the waist up. But, like I said, if she had a little pudge, it wouldn't even matter because she still looked good. And then, her leotards or whatever, like the stuff she used to wear, I don't even. I think it like camouflage or whatever. But anyway, Rock found out she was pregnant. He had been trying to find out what she was, and he found out she was pregnant because one of the friend girls <laughs> told him. Bust out and told him, and the, and I know y'all probably like, why would the friends say that? How could she get around him? Like, why would she go around him? They hung in the same circle of friends, so. She ended up probably just slipping out saying that shit one night. Probably, you know, people get a little lick of courage going on in their body and they just say all kinds of shit. People I was talking about her and ain't no telling. I don't really know the whole background of that, the background story. She's told me some shit I can't remember and she knew everything because somebody told her. Somebody told JB that the homegirl, one of the homegirls, told Rock. So he frantic, he they end up breaking down, telling him where she was at, where she was staying, and somebody told him, I'm sure one of his homeboys, because you know they gonna look out for each other, saying that hey, we are gonna be um in Atlanta, or whatever. She's supposed to be there, or whatever. She might be at the club, so you might need to come up there. What they do that for, y'all? And my thing is this: I feel like they wanted to see some stuff go down because they was there the night. That all the crazy happened at the club. And I know y'all said like they hung around the same people. Yes, but JB also had some other homeboys with her home. You know, they also had other guys that was cool with that didn't really fool with rocking them like that. And like I said, they all knew each other, but they didn't really fool with them like that. So it's like they was playing, but JB and her homegirls were playing both sides. They was hanging with these group of dudes, and then they was hanging with these group of dudes. So, like I said, that night back in Memphis, they got the ball. And, you know, I felt like they found a reason to fight these dudes. I felt like they, was, they just needed a reason to fight these boys <laughs> and get the shoes like they did. But anyway, so, yeah, like I said, the homeboys that was cool with Rock ended up finding out about JB gonna be in Atlanta and she was in Atlanta and she might possibly be at the club that night because it's a big big event going on or whatever and they knew she was up there doing her thing you know because she they would be in Atlanta often so I, anyway these people knew anyway so yeah somehow he ended up finding out I don't know all the details that's just what I kind of remember you know from what she told me but anyway so like I said fast forward we up in the club whatever um we probably were there for, shit, three, four hours or whatever. And she, at this point, she kind of like work in the room. It's packed as hell, y'all. Packed as all get out. Like, it's so many people up in there. We almost was like this up in there. Like, yes. I know it was a fire hazard. I, but I feel like, shit, 
They didn't care. Them people was in there making some money. Ain't nobody snitching on them because they probably in there watching the women too. I mean, it probably was the shit. The fire chief could have been up in there for all I knew. It was so many people up in there. Who knows? And in places like that, this like a cash cow place, oh, you best believe law enforcement be around. Law enforcement be around to see what they want to see for free. And the fire marshals ain't no different. Especially, if, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, shit, they law enforcement to me. <laughs> I mean, you got the right to shut this place down if it's too crowded. So, she law enforcement. But anyway, so, yeah. Of course, as y'all probably already predicted, he shows up with his crew of guys. Some people I ain't never seen before. Some women. The sister. A couple of her homegirls. They deep again. Some of the same people. And, of course, the chick I went to high school with. She with them. And this particular night, she spotted me. I don't know if she saw me that night back in Memphis, but she most definitely saw me this night. Because she was looking like, when, when they saw me talking to, to JB, her homegirls and all them, like, they saw all of us talking together in some section, and they was like right there. And I'm sure they found out what section we was in, but like I said, I felt like they was walking around trying to find Find her. I'm not gonna say necessarily us, cause yeah, I feel like they were trying to find JB. He, I mean, you can spot her from anywhere. I feel like they they walk around until they found her and they found somewhere by us. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it was crowded, but somehow they was able to find a spot by us and just chill in that spot by us. I'm guessing somebody left, and so they was able to get their section because that's. It's just too much of coincidence. I don't know. Maybe I... I don't know. I mean, I feel like somebody was in on it. I don't know. That was just too much of coincidence. Like, it was just in the stars for him to see this girl this night. Come up in here and be this close to us so they can dog us with they... You know, so they can basically give us mugs... Mug, mug, give us mean mugs all night, basically. And that's kind of what it was like. Like, the, the energy was... Y'all, the tension was so crazy. So, anyway... They sitting over there for about a good 30 minutes. I ain't really said nothing. He eventually gets up and walks over there to us and the other girls or whatever. And, of course, the homeboys, they not too far. They coming. You can see them watching like, man, what's up? What's up? Y'all really come way down here to come do this? Y'all really came down here to stop this shit? Like, y'all wanted it again, you know? Talking that shit they talk. I don't know exactly what the hell they were saying, but they was talking that real hush. Because, yeah, these people are from... South Memphis, so I'm not gonna say because they from South Memphis, they gotta be all thug and shit. Yeah, they thug. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. I don't know. But anyway, so they got this commotion with them going on. Of course, security are on the place. They like, nah, y'all, y'all ain't finna do this up in here tonight. Y'all is not finna do this. So they kind of like broke it up. They was like, y'all either come down the hell down or get the hell up out, basically. Y'all gonna either sit here, chill, or y'all gonna have to get the hell up out of here. I mean, I'm like, I know, right? I'm like, and it was like, man, why we gotta leave? They was like, why we gotta get up out of here? Why we get up out of here? They came over here, started us. He was like, man, fuck all that. I don't care about all that. Y'all either shut the hell up or get up out of here. Yeah, he was like, y'all gonna either calm down or get the hell up out of here. And they close for everybody. And so they all, you know, broke it up, whatever. They go back to over where they was in. And, you know, of course, the dudes, they not too far from us. And JB wasn't this. She had walked off at this point because she's like, man, hell no. Nah, you finna make me lose my job. And how the hell did you find me? But, of course, she couldn't really ask that question because, again, they got mutual friends. And I'm sure somebody was running their mouth. And at the time, she didn't really know it was the homegirl. She eventually found out. And because the homegirl was hooking up with Rock. <laughs> yeah, and that's another story for another time, basically. But I just had to say that, like, this homegirl was hooking up with him, and that's how it ended up coming out. Like, she was just pillow talking with him, trying to win her win her position. You cannot win over a man that wants to be with another woman. And I felt like he wanted to be with JB because he wanted to control her. Like, he just wanted to control her life, basically. He was like, you better make sure she come back and talk to me. I gotta talk to her about something. He was like, man, and he was like, but, I don't know, what did Rock say? He was like, he was like, I'm finna, and yeah, and Rock was like, I'm finna walk back over here, but I'm definitely coming back, because we got to talk about. He was talking about Jay, but he said, I don't, he said, I don't care, she can go run off all she want over here, but I'm definitely gonna be waiting on her outside, because we got something we got to talk about. She up in here with my goddamn baby, and we all looking like, 
damn, how he know. So anyway, fast forward, the night is winding down. And of course, they still there, we still there, some of us still there. And he's literally sitting out there waiting on her to come out the dressing room. And dude was like, I don't know what you're waiting around here for because whatever it is, y'all about to talk about this show on the phone. You're not going to do this up here. You can't wait out here to do what? To do what? You must want the same shit back home. Basically, talking shit again. And at this point, they like, y'all got to get the hell up out of here. Y'all got to go. It's time to get up out of here. We for to shut this shit down anyway. So they was like, fuck y'all end up leaving up out of there or whatever. I feel like they wanted some to jump off anyway. They was, they was, they was on rocking them about them coming up in their star shit. But I really feel like they wanted something to jump off because they just wanted, they, they wanted to get their ones with them again. They was acting like they didn't want to smoke, but they definitely wanted it. You know? They all walking out there talking that shit. Nobody had really done anything yet, but they definitely was waiting right there to make sure JB was going to be good. JB, her homegirls, whatever. It was making sure she was going to be good or whatever. So, she eventually comes out, and he rushes up there. Man, man, man y'all can't stop me from talking to them. Damn, my damn baby mama. This is my motherfucking baby mama. This, this, she got my goddamn kids. She pregnant with my goddamn child. How the fuck gonna be up here shaking your in front of these niggas? You pregnant with my child. Laying it all out there, just going the hell off. And I honestly always felt like when guys did that, they are so so immature because if you're a real man and you got any type of self-respect and morals that you try to make her have you would have done this in private you would have calmed the hell down and you would have tried to put her in a position where she felt comfortable to talk to you but of course she couldn't ignore him for real for real because well but yeah especially she knows she got this baby and this is somebody that she really loved like they was like yes but he was obsessed with her she loved him and she was like, I'm going to have to tell her in my own time. But right now, we're in a bad place. Because like I said, he didn't know she was pregnant until she moved away. Back when they was in Memphis, like all this was going down, you know, it wasn't really known that she was supposed She was probably pregnant then, I'm sure. Because especially how many months she was, she was pregnant then. But because all this happened fast with her moving and all that going on there. But she didn't know she was pregnant until she, you know, was moving away. I think that really motivated her. I feel like she knew she was, and so that really made her move to Atlanta, but she didn't tell nobody until she got there, basically. That's what I think. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah, he talking all this, trying to get to her, and eventually, you know, they, they didn't really, they weren't really like just pushing him about her, but they would just let him talk his shit, because I'm guessing that a lot of them didn't really know, they didn't know she was pregnant. These dudes was like, what? You pregnant? Cause they, like, like I said, they, they stopped in their tracks. Cause they stopped trying to hold him, uh, do whatever they were trying to do. Stop him from coming because they like, what? And I guess they all had the same type of mindset at this point. Cause they look at you up here, you pregnant? She said whatever she said to them. Y'all need to stop worrying about me. I'm good. I'm good. I ain't even that far along. I remember her saying it like that. I don't really know everything. Of course, I can't. That was so long ago. But anyway, so yeah. Y'all, he's acting a donkey. You need to bring your ass on here. You need to just talk to me without all these people around. You always got a group of people around. She said, you always got a group of people around. You brought your whole goddamn family up here to try to embarrass me. And I'm like, you know what? She right about that. You really brought them up here. Like, what you was going to do? Just beat the baby out of her? Because that's what it's giving. Like, why are they here? You could have came with just you and one of your homeboys to do whatever you need to do with her. If you really were trying to come just talk to her, you didn't even need your whole family with you. Like, you really brought all these people up here. Maybe he thought that whenever he got around her, he probably knew that some of her homeboys was going to be at the club or whatever, and they was going to try to be bodyguard. You know what I'm saying? He probably knew that. Because I'm guessing shit like this happens all the time. They always was around her. They Like, I will say, they some, <laughs> I almost said this girl now. I will say, JB's homeboys, was always around to protect her. Like they, 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 they protected them. They had the almost respect for them. But I felt like when they found out she was pregnant, they felt away. Like what the fuck you mean? You, what things like? What the hell you mean? You up in here shaking your ass? You in this club and you pregnant? You don't need to be up in here. And honestly, I feel them at the same time. They would never understand when you are a single parent. You gotta do what you gotta do to make sure you and your kids are good. Especially when you got a father like him. But I feel like he was just so 
hurt because she moved away and didn't tell him that she was pregnant with his baby. And I kind of feel him on it like, you moved, you knew you was pregnant, and then you still left. But I think she was just afraid. She knew she was going to keep this baby. Maybe he thought she was going to try to get rid of it. But I felt like she was afraid. And this just from what she told me. She was afraid to be there because of all the crazy going on with him and the sisters and all that. Them fighting, jumping on her and all that. She felt like she was going to have complications with the pregnancy. I could... I feel her on that because it's very possible. And then at this point, she's kind of up in age. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's a certain age. I'm going to say after age 30, our bodies do crazy. JB was, yeah. I think, yeah, JB might have been 30 at this time. Yeah, JB was probably 30 at the time. Like I said, she was a little older than me. JB was 30 at the time. I have already had two kids, so she know her body. She, she, she know. I just felt like she knew that she was going to be stressing her the hell out. And she was going to lose that baby. I really felt like she wanted this baby with him. Because she felt like this was going to really keep him around. And this was going to make him be a certain way. It was going to tame him. Because I also found out that how him and her end up getting together in the beginning. Like, I remember one night. I, I do remember the night that they met. Because I was with her. We met at this party that somebody had. It was like this hood party. But they had this party at this event center. I remember going to the hood party with her and her girls. They met that night. And next thing I know, she talking to the dude or whatever. I remember we met a lot of guys that night. But this is somebody she talked to this particular night. And they hooked up the same night. And after all that, him and her was hooking up with some other girl. Like they was having threesomes together basically. She ended up getting pregnant by him. But they end up falling for one another. In a sense, I guess, if that's what you want to call that. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't, it ain't love. It's, I don't know what it was. I don't really care. It wasn't my relationship. But yes, y'all. He was up there acting a fool about this. And I kind of can relate with him. I kind of I kind of, I kind of feel him. But at the same time, he can't expect to, to trust him. And he coming out of hospital. You came with a whole goddamn entourage just to have a conversation with her. And honestly, this was the wrong time to try to have this conversation with her. You could have had this conversation with her over the phone. If you was that desperate, you could have called her from a different phone number. I'm just saying. It was ways he could have talked to her to try to get her to listen. I'm just saying. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going to drag this out. He, like I said, he basically came up there to show his ass, trying to drag her back to Memphis. But how she stay here now? She's not moving back. He was trying to convince her to come back. Yes, my camera definitely cut out on me. Like I said, he was trying to convince her to come back home. But no, she's not going to come back. I just feel like he could have handled that differently. I honestly feel like he wanted to try to embarrass her because you could have did all this privately. What your sister's them doing here? I feel like if them dudes went there, he would have let them jump on her again. He didn't know all of us was going to be there. But honestly, I wasn't going to fight no goddamn body. I'm not. I'm not going to fight nobody. I'm not going to fight nobody. Especially when I don't feel like I'm being a threat. That's a threat to me. Granted, that chick that I, that I, that I went to school with that, that, that jumped on me with her and her homegirl jumped on me. Well, it, They only jumped on me after I was beating her ass. I had the best of her. Then her homegirl tried to come from behind and hit me. Y'all know how they do. Real cow. -ish. But anyway, this story ain't about me. <laughs> if push come to shove, baby, if, if, if it came down to that, then I would have had to do what I had to do because I felt like that bitch don't come for me. I think they wanted some shit to happen. I feel like she probably did see me that night. She couldn't have, like, not saw me that night because I'm sitting around. We was all really close. She saw me. She just didn't say nothing to me and she wasn't really stirring me down that I saw. I feel like she... She she knew it might be a change and I might be around. <laughs> I feel like she came looking for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just vain as hell and I think people think about me all the time. I don't really give a shit. Who knows? Yeah. Why was she there? Maybe she did cousin too. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video right here, y'all. Go ahead. Drop down below in that comment section. Let's check, y'all. Tell me about the time that y'all um they have dealt with something similar. Know somebody dealt with something similar. Had a crazy ass baby daddy that tried to ru ruin your life, control your life. Um, or we'll try to put his family on you to beat your ass. I, mean, I don't know. Let's check, y'all. All comments are welcome and appreciated, but keep them respectful. Again, y'all, if you haven't subscribed, what you doing, baby? Go ahead and subscribe. It costs nothing for you to subscribe to this channel. All it does is help motivate me to want to provide y'all with great content, and it motivates you too to push my videos out there in the algorithm because they think I'm important. Also, turn on your post bell notification so you'll know exactly when I post. And y'all, 
If you haven't already, go ahead and watch my story time that I previously posted yesterday. Y'all go ahead and tune in. Um, y'all said story time, right? Go ahead and watch my travel video, y'all, that I posted yesterday. Go ahead and tune in. Go ahead and comment down below on that video. Give it a thumbs up. I'll stop this right here. And I'll see y'all in my next video.